Alright guys, so what I've done is, in the previous video, we transferred an SD card over to our SSD, which is a much more reliable, faster form of storage for our server here. And we had the server preset up on the SD card, and we were making our migration to the Argon case with the SSD. Now here is our Pi here. What we've done is we've connected the auxiliary and the other connections here to press it together with this small board. And on the other side, we added some thermal pads. What that does is help transfer some of the heat over to the passive cooling of the argon case. And next, what we should do is take our screws and the flat screws. We're going to first fasten our Pi to the board and screw those in in the various holes here. And so we have our Pi secured to the case itself and next what we can do is we can combine this together and add our SD board to our next cloud or other self-hosting uh, server which in this case I have set up one over here which uses the supporter image so it's an idea I came up with as a way to support the public interest work I'm doing. So if you want to support my work and get something really unique in return that has a automated private key and onion address set up for Nextcloud and private bin, along with various other things, including radio transmitter and some other privacy custom concepts that I haven't talked about just yet. But if you want to support this work, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash extras or just the slash politic tech address and you can also read all the public tutorials there and of course once we've hooked our argon board together we have access to the gpio pins so we can utilize this for the rpi tx on the supporter image that has the radio transmitter and you can create your own antennas for that and check out my tutorial on that i walk through the installation so anyone who wants to set up you know nextcloud as a hidden service i put some shortcuts in the self-hosting playlist along with how to set up your own Nextcloud as a hidden service. Um, so I have all that in the self-hosting section. And once we put this all together, we can go ahead and try to boot it up. And then what we'll do is we can expand the disk to meet our SSD size. Since the micro SD card isn't quite the same size, but thankfully, most Pi operating systems have a pretty straightforward way to expand the disk space. And that's what I have today showing you the Argon case. And I hope you find this useful. Make sure to like this video, comment to help the promotion of the video, and be sure to share the link to this video on other places where people are interested in self-hosting. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.